So good morning, everyone. And we're about to do dried pinto beans in the thermal well. I've put about two and a half cups of dried pinto beans into my small kettle. I have added about five and a quarter cups of water, a smidgen of baking soda, maybe, maybe a quarter teaspoon, maybe a little less. And I am going to um, put my lid on my pot. And I'm hoping that I can get this to stand up. And I'm going to seal it up. And I'm going to lower it down in my thermal well. Put the main lid on. Turn the gas on for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, I'm going to turn the gas off and I'm going to let them sit on retained heat probably about an hour, hour and a half, and then I'm going to check them. So I will be back with you in just a bit. Okay, everyone, we're coming back to the pinto beans that I put on this morning and Things kind of went awry during the day, so they've had to just sit in the thermal well until I could get back to them. I think it's important to tell everyone that you do not have to pre-soak your dried beans whenever you're using your thermal well. It's not necessary, which is lovely for me, I just have to tell you, because I always forget that I have to soak my beans ahead of time, and I don't have to do that in the thermal well. You just put them in there and call it good. So now I'm gonna grab my spoon and I'm going to bring you over here with me and see that we have perfectly good pinto beans. They look delicious. I wish you could, there was a scratch and sniff so that you could smell them because they smell really great. And they will be delicious tonight. Part of these are gonna be served for tonight's dinner. Part of them, I'm going to put them back in the thermal well and let them cook a little bit longer with um, a good bit of habanero and some onions and then those will be turned into refried beans later because we like to make bean burritos around here. So anyway, there you have perfect pinto beans out of the thermal well.